More than 5,000 athletes are arriving from Anguilla to Zambia and all points in between. As this unique family of nations comes together once again to celebrate sport and to strengthen the ties that bind us and hopefully to finish above Australia in the medals table. 11 days of sporting action, 283 titles up for grabs, all of it unfolding in front of well over a million spectators in sold out venues with countless more watching from the roadsides and on televisions and live streams around the world. And if the prospect of millions of people across five continents turning in for lawn bowls live from Leamington Spa doesn't fill you with joy, then I really don't know what will. Best of all, these games won't end when the Alexander Stadium lights go out at the conclusion of the closing ceremony. Because just as the athletes have spent years preparing for this moment, so the legacy of Birmingham 2022 will burn bright for many years to come. Whether it's children being inspired by the opportunity to see their heroes up close, a massive investment that will level up grassroots access to world-class sporting facilities, or the boost to Birmingham's profile, reputation, confidence that will come from two weeks in the global spotlight. The 2022 Commonwealth Games won't just be a feast of sporting excellence, they will be the next step on the road to a healthier, happier and more prosperous West Midlands. I can't wait for the action to begin and whether you're competing for England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland or indeed Jersey, Guernsey or the Isle of Man or absolutely anywhere else, I want to wish you all the very best of luck for your event and hope you have a great Commonwealth game.